Welcome to the beautiful Thomaskirche or the St. Thomas Church. Archaeological excavations on the site show that the original foundation of the church dates back to around 1160 when it was an altar sanctuary of Romanesque style. Later this was rebuilt in 1355 in a Gothic style. The building that you're looking at today, however, is the result of another reconstruction in 1482 by order of the local bishop, Thilo of Trotta. The 68 meter high steeple was added later in 1537. As mentioned earlier, the architectural style of the church is Gothic, with several small spires pointing sharply upwards. This typical Gothic feature was a way to try to reach up and connect to heaven. A special feature for the Thomas Church is its exceptionally steep angle of the roof. With a main roof angle of 63 degrees, the roof is the steepest of all Germany's churches. There are four bells in the St. Thomas Bell Tower. The name of the largest bell, which is used on days of celebration, is Gloriosa. The bell was cast in 1477 and weighs a massive 5,200 kilos and has a diameter of 2.04 meters. The church houses one of Germany's most famous and oldest boy choirs, the St. Thomas Choir, or more commonly known as the Thomana Chor. During the medieval time, the boys sang on every occasion city celebrations, the installation of bishops, and even during executions. Today, the St. Thomas Church continues to serve as the Tomana Court home. The choir boys still follow an almost medieval regimen with a distinctive subculture. The choir was founded in 1212 and has been led by many well-known composers and musicians. The most noted is one of Leipzig's most famous inhabitants and one of the greatest composers of all time, Johann Sebastian Bach. St. Thomas was already 500 years old by the time Bach became church cantor and he remained the cantor and choir leader from 1723 until his death in 1750, 27 years in total. Imagine this, in front of this altar is where Bach is buried. The church houses the same boys choir he sang in, composed for and directed for 27 years and still they perform the pieces he wrote for them. The place is in other words a sanctuary for Bach fans and many people who love classical music visit the church due to its deep connection with Bach. Even though he was a noted composer and cantor, the great music Bach wrote during his Leipzig years commanded little attention in his lifetime. When he died, he was given a simple grave in the city cemetery. In 1894, an effort was made to find where the great composer lay buried. After a thorough search, his coffin was found and removed from the local cemetery to the Johanniskirche. This church was however attacked and destroyed during the Second World War. After the destruction of the church, the remains of Johann Sebastian Bach were moved from there to its current location in the St. Thomas Church in 1950. With that, Bach finally found his resting place in the church he surely would have selected himself, the St. Thomas Church. Today, his grave is under the church floor, just in front of the altar. A massive bronze statue of Bach was raised outside the church in 1908 to honor the man for his works. There is also a stained glass window on the south side featuring Bach himself, as well as another known visitor of the church, Martin Luther. The Christian reformer Martin Luther preached here on Pentecost Sunday in 1539, signaling the arrival of Protestantism in Leipzig. 
Other well-known people who have connections to the church are the German composer Felix Mendelssohn and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, who both performed at the church. During the Second World War, the church suffered severe harm. During an Allied bombing raid in 1943, the steeple was heavily damaged. After the war had ended, the damage caused to the church by the war was repaired and after the reunification of West and East Germany in 1990, the St. Thomas Church underwent a total restoration process, badly needed after a hundred years of more or less neglect. The project was finished on July 28th in the year 2000. The commemoration of the 250th anniversary of Bach's death. Even though the St. Thomas Church is not as grand as the Cologne Cathedral or the Notre Dame de Paris, many people find the St. Thomas Church more engaging and alive. Maybe it's because of the church's interesting and warm, charming architecture, or because of its rich history. Either way, one thing is clear. The church is one of its kind and truly unique. Make sure you have a great stay